at a meeting last week about future plans for Youngstown's Crab Creek Corridor, we learned there was a possibility of eliminating the Madison Avenue Expressway and replacing it with a boulevard-type road. Which got us wondering about the status of such a big project and just how serious are they about getting it done. Eliminating Madison Expressway is our top story tonight at 10. I crossed Youngstown's Fifth Avenue Bridge this afternoon with Justin Mondock, underneath which runs the Madison Avenue Expressway. To where instead of having two intersections on either side, maybe we can condense that down to one. Mondock works for the Eastgate Regional Council of Governments, and he's looking into the possibility of eliminating the Madison Avenue Expressway. Currently, the, the highway serves as kind of a barrier uh, for people, you know, heading north and, and heading into downtown. So what can we do to better connect those communities and spur development at the same time? The Madison Avenue Expressway cuts through Youngstown's lower north side from around Andrews Avenue to Martin Luther King Boulevard. The two and a half mile stretch was built in the 1960s. It sees typically lower than average traffic volumes for infrastructure of this scale and size. Uh, so what are our options? You know, as it's aging infrastructure, uh, it's going to need maintenance here uh, in the coming years. What's needed first is a study. Eastgate has applied for a $1 million grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation's Reconnecting Communities and Neighborhoods program. We're not going into this study with any foregone conclusions. Uh, we'll live by the data uh, and what those outcomes are. The Madison Avenue Expressway is a trenched highway built below grade that may need filled in. It all sounds very expensive, but rather than maintaining an aging road, change may be worth it. Is there a way that we could be better stewards of public funds by downscaling the intensity of the infrastructure uh, so that those funds can be better utilized elsewhere in the community? If the expressway would be eliminated, Mondock envisions expanding the east and westbound service roads to accommodate more vehicles. It would also open up 40 acres for development, and there could also be a park. The possibilities are endless, and, and we could see a, a lot of um, kind of more active uses rather than uh, an underutilized highway. Mondak hopes to learn next month if Eastgate will get the money for the study. The study would then take about a year. Should changes be suggested, the same Reconnecting Neighborhoods program does have money for the work. Should the work be extensive, we may be looking at 10 to 15 years to get it all done. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.